Congrats on this. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent work. Thank you very much. Uh, this movie is one of those where you need like two or three days to recover after you've seen it. It's uh, relentlessly effective. Yeah. It, uh, it does what movies were supposed to do and it forces you to feel something. It might not be an emotion you want to feel, but by God, you are going to feel it. That's for sure. Yeah. I think it's, you know, sometimes to unsettle someone is to unsettle them into motion. It, it, it's what is provocative enough to get people to talk and, and, and actually and act and, and, and speak up about what's going on, which is this horrible trend of just mass violence, you know, and, and, and uh, so, yeah. This is us exploring one such time in history. You've made something that remarkably captures a real moment in time, and for the rest of your lives, you'll probably be encountering people that were either there or descendants of people that were there. And in the process, you've probably already talked to these people. How is that? Yeah, well, we had the great opportunity of meeting the real chef Oberoi at Toronto. He came, as soon as he stood up, uh, the entire auditorium, over a thousand people, got to their feet, they were crying and clapping. and. Uh, He's just a great man, you know. You know, there was, there was members of staff and, and guests that had gotten out of the hotel and then went back in to help others, which is just mind-boggling to think. But it was, it was a pretty emotional moment meeting him. It's engaging <clears throat> in the way an action movie is engaging, and I, with no disrespect to the real horrific events that this surrounds, there are moments where you're immersed in it like a Poseidon adventure or like a Die Hard. And then in that moment in time, when you feel so captivated, you go, and, oh, my God, this really happened and is still happening. Mm -hmm. What about reading it? Did the words jump off the page and move you the same way the movie moves us? Yeah, I mean, the, the, script, was, the script was in a really great place. Obviously, it's heavy subject matter, but, you know, Anthony and, and John, who, who wrote the script together, they, they did such a wonderful job of, of infusing humanity into a really tragic event uh, in the hotel staff, in, in, the, in the guests, the guests even, yeah. even in the gunmen. I mean, you see a humanity that you don't normally see. And normally, the terrorists, you know, in these kinds of situations are these nameless, faceless killing machines. But in this one, you see that they are confused and scared children who have been, you know, misled and fed a sort of extremist ideology and lied to. And, and you see the toll that, that it has on them as well. Uh, it's a very human look at a, at a tragic event. Sure, there's one moment without plot spoiling, there's a moment where you examine one of those characters and all of a sudden you say, oh, so they too have families and yeah. lives and there's a way they got to this horrible place in their lives. Yeah. What's the hardest day on set? I know that your director wanted you to feel like you were going through these scenes. I think every day had its own challenge, but again, we're just actors, so, you know, we, he, Anthony shouts cut and we get to rid ourselves of this situation, you know. But, uh, you know, he, he, he would play, uh, to keep the tension, he would have these massive speakers planted around the sets. And at a push of a button, you'd get a grenade fire or a gunshot. And even in between takes, you know, it kept a level of tension throughout the 10, 12 hours we were filming. That was, you get home and you realize that you've just been clenching your fists all day and you're just sweaty, you know, from the tension. I spent like four days hogtied on the ground, yeah. and that was the worst. Yeah. I mean, it was so terrible. I had bruises in funny places like my shoulders, my hips, yeah. like everything was just hurting from being hogtied on the ground for almost 12 hours a day. Right, it's ridiculous. I, in those scenes, I knew that you did that for some time, but I'd yeah. skydive, and just holding that position for that long kills yeah. the neck. Yeah. Man, excellent work. Thank, Thank you. you. Good Thank to you see you. Good Thanks see you for your time. Too. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe, turn on your notifications, and click here to get more videos like this.